Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this Mueller single serve K cup coffee maker. So, if your coffee is not coming out like it should, you could have a clogged needle. So, say you're pressing the buttons and nothing's happening. We're going to need a metal paper clip. So, first thing, we're going to turn it off and we're going to unplug it. I'm going to first show you how to remove the lower needle and then I'm going to show you how to access the top needle. So, lift this up. This area could be hot if you've got some hot water that just recently came through here. So let's let it cool down. Okay, so first let's do the top needle. You're gonna rotate this just a little bit. Be careful, there is a sharp needle down in the basket, but just rotate it. Then you can kind of poke up from the bottom. Now this comes out. So I like to call this the lower needle basket. So you'll be surprised how dirty this gets. So we need to rotate this part the opposite of what you think. Rotate it that way and it comes off. There's these little grooves. Now we can access the needle. So with our paper clip, there's the needle. We're gonna go in from the bottom and kind of clean this all out. There's two openings you wanna make sure and clean out down there. The needle has two openings, so it's gonna come out to the side and then th straight through the top. And then take a brush, take this over to your sink, rinse this out with water really well. You'll be really shocked how kind of dirty this can get. And then with this one, this one also too may get clogged, but it's a little trickier. You can't go all the way through, but you gotta kinda clean it up here, and it kinda goes out around here. Now, I can pop that off. Take your paper clip and poke up from the bottom. You gotta go right in the very middle, and just kinda, you gotta get a little, you gotta force it a little bit, and that little piece will pop off. And then you can get that really nice and clean. And then to reinstall it, you're just gonna center it, and it snaps in, so it kind of rotates. This will get this area all nice and clean. Now kind of line up those grooves and then turn it, you know, it's this way, counterclockwise. It's kind of different than one you think. This is all clean. Let's go ahead and reinstall, reinstall it. Okay, so we're gonna reinstall it. The needle goes up this way. So you gotta start off and then rotate it. Make sure it's nice and flush. Practice closing this. Make sure you don't force it. Okay, so let's do the top needle. So it's a little trickier because you gotta get that needle to come down first. So normally you can't rotate this handle down, but if I press these both these little tabs here, simulating that it's closed, now I can close this handle. Be careful, that needle pops out now. So now the, the needle is popped out and I can clean it. Go up both sides. Now be careful, you don't wanna poke this all the way. And I, I like to rotate it as I, as I poke it. And then we're gonna go in this way. Now be careful, don't, again, don't force this. You may have to do this several times. On some coffee makers, I have had to clean this about three or four times till eventually uh, some water came out, okay? Now we're gonna lift the handle and the needle goes back. And you can practice this a couple times. That might also clean it up. And then you may even have to leave the needle retracted and kind of go up in it a little bit. You can get a little bit more room in there just kind of clean it up, try to find both sides, do the same thing, rotate it. Now we need to do some fresh water rinses. Okay, plug it back in. We're gonna put this down, turn it on. Okay, so the lights are gonna flash, let you know that it's heating the element up. So it's nice to do these fresh water rinses. I like to do one about once a week. So we're not gonna have a cake, don't put a cake up in here. We just wanna run that hot water through here to kind of clean all this out. And that might help dislodge some coffee grounds up there because when you leave a cake up in here, the coffee grounds will eventually stick to that top needle and they will eventually clog that top needle. So we've got no cake up, just do a small brew. And you may see some coffee grounds come out. And again, you may have to do this. So say nothing comes out, you may have to repeat that cleaning that needle about four times. And again, these, I like, to, even if your needles are not clogged, I do fresh water rinses on my coffee makers about once a week. And you'll see the water will be discolored. Sometimes there's coffee grounds floating around in there. Okay, so that fixes a clogged needle. So let's say you're getting the wrong quantity out. So this coffee maker comes from the factory. This is six, eight, and 12 ounces. Now, somebody may have reprogrammed this accidentally or something, but you can program these for this button to be eight, 10, and 12. So I'm going to show you how to re I'm going to show you how to go back to the default settings. First, you're going to unplug it. Okay, I've got it unplugged. You're going to hold the big button in. 
hold the big button in while you plug it in. The reservoir light's gonna blink at you twice, and now you're back to factory default. So this is gonna be six, eight, 10. Okay, so let's say you wanna to go to those other defaults. Unplug it again. With it unplugged, hold the small button. Plug it back in. Now the middle light flashes at you. That lets you know that you're at factory defaults, six, eight, 10. But we gotta memorize that setting we're gonna press the power button. If I wanted to go to the other setting, I would press the big button, then press the power button. Now it memorized it. So other than the clog needle, um, maybe it's not brewing the right quantity. This is a very nice coffee maker, very simple. There is no descale light to kind of prevent you from brewing if you haven't descaled it. I'm gonna do a separate video on how to descale it with vinegar. If your coffee's not as hot as it used to be, or if it's not brewing the right amount of water, it could need to be descaled. You should descale this coffee maker every three to six months. Another thing to look out for is just make sure nothing gets down in here. Sometimes things can get down in here and it prevents this water reservoir from going on all the way and you don't get water into your coffee maker. So make sure this is all nice and clean. So I hope I helped you fix your coffee maker. If you could, please like and subscribe.